So the World Economic Forum recently finished its 2023 conference in Davos, and the most powerful people in the world got together to talk about how they're going to shape the future and transform the globe, to quote the WEF chairman, Klaus Schwab. And in case Schwab's accent wasn't enough of a giveaway, we actually used to have a term for what the WEF does, the fusing together of governments and major industries to make rules for the rest of the population. It was called fascism. But the WEF elites have assured us that you have nothing to worry about. They're just discussing solutions that are going to help you, the people. So what did the attendees talk about this year? Well, first up, we had this guy, Jim Hageman Schnob, chairman of one of the biggest companies in the world, who said that we need to get 1 billion people to stop eating meat in order to prevent the climate from changing. That's right, as the elites have repeatedly suggested, meat is for the important people, like them. The bugs are for you. Next, we heard from the pro-lockdown authoritarian Deputy Prime Minister of Canada, Krista Freeland, who spoke about how middle-class Americans need to take a pay cut because, well, your standard of living is just too high and you're consuming too many resources. And then, of course, no elite globalist save the world scam fest could ever be complete without an appearance by the two most hypocritical and useless presidential candidates in American history, John Kerry and Al Gore. Like all the important attendees, Kerry and Gore flew in on private jets, which emit more carbon in one day than you probably emit in an entire year, to lecture you, the peasants, about how you need to stop driving SUVs and cut down on your reliable energy needs because Otherwise, the climate change is going to take us all down. But it's enough with these people. A wannabe global government like the WEF is not something that serves anybody's interests except for those of the most powerful. If we really want to prevent this organization from exerting any more influence on our lives, it's time we all stop supporting anyone and any politician who associates with it.